Hello Internet, welcome back to my Sky Island playthrough. In the last episode, we continued dispatching enemies in the street using the water kind of to our advantage is really all we have. And then we slipped into a house to do a little bit of looting, specifically hoping for some high value items that we could trade with Rubik in the future. And now our inventory is pretty full up, we're going to have to drop some things, but yeah, we're going to just continue looting, probably continue fighting, and eventually here we'll head over to see the Exodii. So everyone, welcome back. I was going to drop drop things off camera, but I don't think we're going to do that. So, uh, it says torso is very encumbered. Dodging and melee is hampered. Yeah, full hiking backpack will do that. 52 encumbrance, that's why we dropped the bag. So let's drop some things. I was going to drop them off camera, but I thought, well, people might want to see what I'm dropping. So we'll just uh, quickly flip through. We don't need all of this food, obviously, is, is like a lot of weight from soda and stuff like that. Beverages, all these. Uh, how big is this jar? Yeah, three liter jar of jam. Don't really need seven pounds, or <laughs> excuse me, three and a half pounds of jam. Don't really need that. Uh, a lot of these small plastic bags, they're just not heavy, but obviously we don't need hundreds of tea bags and things like that are not things we're gonna need. Uh, also, because I'm so used to not using butter, I guess you use butter in recipes, I just never really cook in this game. I will keep it, because I always play lactose intolerant, and it's like, maybe you should be trying to eat some of these lactose items. We don't really need the condiments, so we can drop the old ketchup and mayonnaise. No one wants old mayonnaise. Most people don't even want good, like, you know, recently opened mayonnaise. And then, yeah, the soda's gonna be a fair bit of weight. It's the weight I'm concerned about. The volume, we can kind of drop stuff as we need to but the weight is an ongoing issue with us trying to move around and things like that so i think we'll drop uh three bottles of cream soda we don't really need although why are these in plastic bottles why aren't they cans of soda a plastic oh like a two liter bottle of soda i guess is only uh, less than a pound 0.9 pounds okay but it's like a half a liter in volume i guess they're just bottled i guess when i i drink a cream soda every now and then because i they remind me of my childhood so i drink those every now and then and they are always in plastic bottles when i was a kid it was like glass bottles and cans oh which makes me sound super old i'm not that old it's just that's what they sold in the corner store where that i could afford where little like you know little cheap cans of soda uh we do want to keep the novels we don't need the map that we didn't you know that we've already used we don't need that we do want to keep the menstrual pads for trading same with the toilet paper i think small cardboard box with 24 th those are the menstrual pads that's fine i mean we could drop the box but it doesn't really matter i think i mean i guess all of those boxes are adding up to take up more volume than the items themselves. We can drop the clothes. We never really need clothes. It's just that uh, I have a tendency to pick them up because I'm used to looting everything. And the motorcycle jacket is in such poor condition that I don't actually think it's worth carrying. It just seems to have a wallet in it. Do you have anything else in you? Yeah, the game is hanging every time I push the E button. I don't like that. It looks like all it contains is that wallet, which we don't need the wallet, so we'll drop that. Motorcycle jacket. It's just in poor condition. I They're not bad. In fact, they're kind of good, if I remember right. It's just that we already have a Kevlar vest. Are we really going to wear a heavy jacket on top of that? And it's just, like, it's very voluminous. It's a huge jacket, so we'll drop that as well. So I think for now, now that's okay so let's pick up some of these things and we're going to keep an eye on the barter value capitalism board game uh five bucks for half a liter we'll take that as well i guess that's the thing you drop stuff and then you immediately pick up more stuff to to take up the space you just had now snakes and ladders i believe if i check my list is in fact one of the yeah snakes and ladders is one of the things we require board game wise for crafting so we'll take that always nice to find an item that lets us craft an upgrade let's not pick up more tea leaves when we just dropped them. I think we have enough knives and I don't think you can use the steak knives anyway. Drinking glass, condiment bottle. What was the condiment? Ketchup? No, I'm good. A couple fireplaces, not really in, in interest to me. So at this point, we've looted everything in this house except for this one locked little room, which probably only contains like, um, what are they, like dressers anyway. So we're not super concerned about that. The garage unfortunately had nothing. We see a brainless zombie nun. We talked about the nun issue in the last episode. Uh, uh, let's just how do we ignore briefly yeah ignore a monster we don't need to worry about the brainless zombies in general let alone one that's pretty far away so we've looted this house two brainless zombies none okay let's turn off safe mode but let's be a little 
you know, a little slow as we come up here. Two zapper zombies this time. Zapper zombie, zapper zombie. Neither of them can see me. Uh, this one's very injured. Yeah, they've been darting in and out of that broken glass window a, a few times. Crawling zombie also in very bad condition. Looks like it's crawling through the rose bushes. Yeah, that thing's not gonna make it. And then there's a zombie uh, diagonally from here as well that I never spotted because it's camouflaged in the bush. Always nice to see a zombie with a ghillie suit. All right, so because of our kind of full up nature it'd be great to find a vehicle so we could just continue looting and transporting more stuff because the trying to balance loot with what i've already picked up is a bit of a difficulty for me i always struggle with what i can drop what i can't drop things like that i would really like to peek in the military surplus but it looks like there's only windows in the front i don't know if we could get in the back why don't we you know what let's check the south of this house and see what it looks like on that side and let's just be a little careful as we do this we don't see anything except the brainless zombies which are not a concern although you will come over here when i smash the glass so we do see a regular zombie which has probably oh no has not spotted us okay and yeah it doesn't look like there's a oh maybe there's a way in the back okay good it's open and everything so first of all how's our vision radius pretty good but let's pop up on the roof to get a little bit more so there is something in here oh yo it's a bunch of a bunch of books or is are the yeah that's a whole bunch of books we should definitely go in there all right let's check this roof here uh military surplus strikes me as the kind of place that would have a solar panel but it doesn't look like it although uh oh that zombie could see me on the roof that's not good. Yeah, so someone pointed this out the other day. I don't know if this is correct. Someone said 3D FOV is enabled by default now, which would be under debug, I think, because it wasn't fully set up yet. Vertical range of 3D field of vision. So it looks like instead of being enabled or disabled, it now just has a number to determine how far away. It would work how many levels up and down the 3D FOV reaches. The full height of the world can slow the game down a lot. Seeing fewer Z levels is faster. Setting this to zero disables it. Okay, so it is enabled by default and it looks like the range of four for uh, heights uh, or for uh, Z levels is the phrase I would want to use there. And that zapper zombie did see us, but again, they're not particularly dangerous to us. So let's just pop down. How did our vision radius do when we pop down here? Yeah, nice big, oh good lord, lots of Z's over here. That's not great. But we're probably not going to go very deep into the town anyway. What's this S out here all alone? A scrapyard, okay. And these J's I also don't recognize. A junkyard, okay. Someone did say it's worth going to the apple orchard. I don't remember why they said it was. I think because it contained a solar panel. I'm not 100%, I don't remember. Looks like there's another one over here on the way to Rubik anyway. So we can swing by and check. But on the way out of here, we would like to carry one of those large boxes with us probably we have a solar panel back at base and i think we took back a storage battery as well so at this point we have stuff that we could set up at our base for uh like an internal wiring system and if we check the construction menu which is also hanging why is everything so slow today it's not my computer okay it doesn't matter so if we check here do we need any skills to set up like a solar panel oh i have the hiccups as well that's great so fab one for solar panels what about storage batteries no battery small battery medium battery all these are electronics one which we do not have which is a problem because i don't know how we raise electronics very easily when we don't have a lot of scrap materials or the tools to do so but we'll look into that in the future still not seeing that zapper zombie so i'm not too worried here we're gonna pop in we're gonna loot what we can loot here i it's very strange to me that this is completely empty but this one tile has like seven books on it very odd to me empty bathroom uh you know what we should use that map oh where's that zapper zombie oh it's the one to the north not a concern we should use that map. I forgot we picked that up and never used it. The advertising brochure. It is too dark to read. You got me there, game. You got me there. Like, you don't read in the dark. I think that's why my eyes are messed up. Because as a child, I read so much uh, in the dark, which is apparently very, very bad for your eyes. So if we have a look here, let's zoom out. And let's enable our highlighting map reveals. So it did reveal roads, but I think a lot of these were already revealed due to a previous map. I was more interested in, it's supposed to reveal malls and strip malls. And it looks like there is a strip mall in Stark over here. 
that's very far away. I mean, like, obviously we weren't going to go there anyway, but... And then here is a regional school. I'm not... Oh, that was not revealed by this? Why was the school revealed? It must have been a previous map that did that. Schools are, like, kind of a great place to loot. Last I checked, I enjoyed looting the, the schools because there's, like, a lot of bags, a lot of books, stuff like that. A roadside food cart, another school. I don't know what I read that revealed schools. But, okay, apparently not a lot of malls in the world that's a bit disappointing i mean a mall would be like a huge ask with our current only two hour time limit but you know it's still nice to know where they are so we can now drop the brochure unless it has like a trading value oh it's worth 10 or no that's not barter value that's regular price is it worth 10 bucks i don't think so we'll hang on to it why is it a quarter of a liter for a folded up little brochure okay let's pop up here grab some books yeah it looks like the only thing in this whole building is that stack of books which don't get me wrong not complaining seems pretty great this is the wrong aisle what is this what are you paper wrapper oh so exciting oh it looks like another map actually oh it's a scorecard okay yeah i mean there's not really anything here except for those books but hard to complain why why is there like a stack of books just on one tile it's very odd to me i mean we want all of this i don't know if we can fit we can it puts our weight up pretty pretty bad three copies of this is it worth money are they worth taking 22 dollars. okay so i think we have quite a bit to trade to rubik based on just the books alone and like the menstrual products and some of the other things we've found okay so borders away with steel edged weapons and pull like obviously we can't forge anything right now but it's always good to find books with forging like uh, melee weapon recipes booby traps ieds mines and you probably not something we need but you know maybe raises uh i don't know we don't have an explosive skill per se right we just have launchers uh mine countermine operations hafted weapons in medieval and renaissance europe precision long range shooting and hunting probably raises marksmanship and or maybe rifles or something like that rifle shooting for beginners obviously for rifles and the halberd and other european pole arms 1300 to 1650 i'm not really familiar with what all pole arms existed in those years but that's fine probably like the lucerne hammer and stuff we would have that i think given the kind of fullness of our character's inventory maybe we should just go to rubik let's turn off that map highlighting so where is the mission for the killing the horde as well let's take a look where that because maybe like we could leave right now go see rubik probably we're not going to get very much from him but we know we have things to trade it will free up some of our inventory space then maybe we can swing back try to hit the horde and then just e extract because remember we only have like an hour and a half left anyway so let's uh look where the map is if we hit enter and then check the map actually you can toggle from the map menu can't you view missions yeah we can okay so it's south here obviously it probably makes more sense to go there before we go to rubik but i would rather go to rubik because if we get like if we do find something really good or if we get there early maybe we could do something special with rubik i'm not familiar with how he is, or, or excuse me they i'm not sure how they are nowadays i don't know if they have other quests or other things we might want to do and then we have to come back to this area anyway and we can kind of decide if we have enough time to go to the horde but i think rubik is the priority Really trading with traders when you get the opportunity is is pretty much a, a good decision every time. This zombie might spot us as we move through here, but we don't care. Probably we should be able to walk back out of town without issue. Three brainless zombies, zapper zombie. We're just going to hoof it out of town. What is... Oh, it's the child zombie. Yes. How's our mood, by the way? It's not that key anymore. Hit morale. Minus 18. So we could go butcher that uh, watermelon, I guess. But wasn't it like 10 pounds? We're not going to carry 10 pounds of watermelon. Body shivers slightly. Yeah, so we're down to five warp pulses. So an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, I think going to Rubik now is like the right decision. It would have been much better if we'd found a, a vehicle. But we might as we traverse the roads here. I think we should probably cut through the fields. Because it would cut down a lot of travel time. But let's just walk on the road for now. See if we can find... We should probably turn on safe mode. That's that horde we saw previously that's right i forgot we had a bunch of hordes migrating northwest so maybe we will just go through the fields because it's not worth fighting any of them like uh, you know they can drop loot whatever people keep telling me like hey if you clear even just a small section of town you're gonna find a bug out bag but that's really not my experience looks like some forest up here so if we did have to fight we could fight 
uh, or we could gather wood and things. Let's turn on safe mode since nothing's in sight. We'll just hold down the button here and just move through the field. Very choppy for some reason. Groundhogs, not really a thing. I mean, they are pretty small. They're fleeing immediately. Feel your torso getting warm. Take a look at our... Isn't there a button for armor layering or something like that? Is it this? No, that's the body. No, wait, that's right. So if we go to torso here, oh, this is, yeah, this is the layering. It's not really worth the, the, the whole thing to look through here. We'll just look in the layering, the old layering menu. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to call these different menus at this point. But anyway, let's check our torso, see how warm we are. Undershirt, Kevlar vest, light jacket, binoculars, hiking backpack, lumberjack bag. So the warmth presumably between the Kevlar vest and the light jacket would be where that's coming from. Warmth 15, warmth 15, plus the undershirt, warmth 10. I mean, we can pop off our undershirt, I guess. That'll lighten the heat a little bit. It's not actually a big deal to be warm. You're wearing rigid armor with armor that has, yeah, okay. It does. It's not a big deal to be a little warm, but we'll take those off anyway. Yeah, I would love to fight like one of these weasels or groundhogs or whatever because we could potentially just put them down in like one hit. What are you? You're a weasel. Aren't weasels like pretty aggressive? Or wait, which ones am I thinking of? It's mongooses. I was thinking of mongooses because they fight. Like they attack people, don't they? Mongooses. Like they famously are like known for fighting snakes or whatever. Like they're, they're adapted to fight snakes or something like that. But I think they also attack people. Is this tractor drivable? Be nice even just, you know, if it's only like 10 miles an hour, it'd still be faster than walking. We do need corpses for one of our crafting recipes. Not attacking we weasel, safe mode is on. Um, sorry weasel, I, I'm gonna try, let's drop our backpack. Oh, now it's fleeing. Come back here, you coward. Okay, yeah, and presumably weasel, oh, <laughs> okay. It's dead. How big is your corpse? Point f okay, so we're gonna take the dead body. But they rot away, right? We would have to get five corpses like in the near future before it would rot away for crafting. I guess, I feel bad now, we killed a weasel. Okay, let's grab the corpse. See horses, obviously we're not gonna be <laughs> dragging horses back with us. The birds are gonna scatter before we get anywhere near them. I mean, we'll take a weasel corpse for now. Let's see if we can drive this thing. Starts right up, so we'll... Oh god, I'm facing the wrong direction. My bad. So this will speed up our trip to Rubik. Uh, you hear Vroom. Yes, I do. No cargo spaces, unfortunately, so not stuff we can... Well, unless you can store on a frame directly. I don't think you can, though. No, they wouldn't have any storage there. Quarter panel. Yeah, it, shockingly, a tractor does not have a lot of storage space. Who would have thought? So we're going to drive up here. And this is a Reaper, right? What is this? It's a planter tractor. Okay, uh, boarded up farmhouse. Oh, it's a barn, desolate barn. I can never remember which one is like a special location. So we're just gonna pivot here and not drive near that. Uh, I think turkeys are gonna be too big for us to carry back with us, but you know what? We'll hit them with a tractor and see what we can, uh, maybe we can check a carcass here. Very resilient turkey. Okay, I mean, I expected you would be dead. Let's speed up a little. Oh, we lost it. Okay, rams into the turkey. I, I can't believe you're alive. You're not even halfway dead. Okay, I guess whatever the power of, I overestimated the power of a tractor. What are you going to do? Anyway, this sped up the trip quite a bit, which is fine. Uh, and we'll head over here to Rubik and see what we can trade with Rubik. I wonder if Rubik wants a weasel corpse. We'll move up here, and then there have been historically bugs with the Exodii about attacking you if they became hostile due to other creatures. I believe that's been resolved, so hopefully they are not going to just shoot me in the face when I walk up here. Achievement completed. Strange neighbors uh, reach the strange fortress. Yes, here we are. Now we just have to find the entrance, which uh, it, it wouldn't be oriented north. Usually it's in like the southwest every time I see it, but I think because it's along this road, it will be up here. What does this sign say? Basically two planks. Yeah, examine. Enter side the other. Uh-huh. Okay, so presumably the opposite side of the building. 
which means it's facing away from the road, which is a bit strange. Let's just keep an eye out for monsters as well. Put safe mode back on. Still not seeing any Exodii robots. That's fine. Just a long, long walk here. Uh, lots of sand, which we could have picked up uh, for our previous required crafts. Traders come well avant. Yeah. So I'm going to mention this once and then try not to mention it again. I hate Rubik's dialogue. Uh, I brought this up multiple times, you know, as we've talked about it over the years. There is a mod that simplifies it so they speak a lot more normally. But I just genuinely, very strongly dislike that they went this sort of stylized direction with his conversation and text. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to fully understand the things that he says. And I will personally get very frustrated trying to read it all. So I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that as we as we go in here but i just want you to know that ahead of time and i'm trying to just mention it once and not bring it up again otherwise i will talk about it constantly because it really really bothers me so let's go up here and speak to rubik why is there what why why is there acid in your hallway i'm not walking through this why is there acid uh so so I just can't get to Rubik, huh? I mean, it says splatter and streak. Does that mean it's just like... I mean, why is there acid here? Okay, you know what? So I'm going to save. We're going to quick save. And we're going to save scum because I don't know how this works. So my thinking with it saying splatter and streak is that maybe it's just like blood splatter that we would see in the game that doesn't actually do anything. This one says pull of acid, which are the ones that will burn you. But then two, we're wearing combat boots, which should have a lot of like protection on the soles. So I don't know, maybe that's not an issue. So we're going to step into it. And if it burns us, we're going to reset. Because obviously if, if I knew that it would burn us, I wouldn't walk through. Let's just make sure we're quick saved. I'll step into the... So it's prompting us, which means it will hurt us. Why is there acid here, man? My whole plan pivoted on coming to see Rubik. I... All right. I don't know. Is this not the right way to go? It's clearly the entrance. You, you know what? I'm still going to try to step into it. Maybe our boots will insulate us and it still prompts you anyway. Oh, it clear it's clearing up. Can I walk on these? I can. What? Uh, all right. I, I don't know what to do here. Let's just walk away again and walk back. Maybe it'll go away. I don't know if I have to be away from it for it to despawn. So let's just like chill out here for a second. Maybe look for some sticks or anything we could pick up here. Can't pick up a tree trunk, apparently. Who would have thought? Okay, looks like a side entrance, but no winch for us to get into. We'll go back up here, see if this has dissipated. Nope, still exists. Acid streak. Let's, uh, so it's a streak now instead of a pull. Let's wait, like, a minute and another minute, another minute. That one disappeared. Okay, well, if this was the pull, that makes sense. It would be the longest to dissipate i guess why is there acid here rubik what are you doing zodii quadrupeds like there's no indicator of where this came from there's no like ant carcass or anything are one of you bleeding acid were you injured somehow whatever anyway it's very bizarre Anyway, we're running out of time. We only have 45 minutes left. This is crazy. Let's go see what Rubik has for sale. Oi, you ain't dead looking to trade. Uh, who are you? Uh, you're the Exodii. This is your home. Monic is... Your name is Rubik. You're a trader. Scrap metal more. Okay, I, I just... I do not care. I mean, we get an int check. We might as well do an int check, right? No, I don't care. I don't care about the lore. What have you got for trade, Rubik? Okay, so obviously the CBMs are very high value, but without our ability to get the actual uh, CBM interface wiring reference, what the heck is that? Wire kit, uh, thankfully someone's handwritten a legend for those symbols, but it'll take significant electronics knowledge. Okay, I don't know what that means, but we're not we're not concerned about that. Obviously, we would like to pick up CBMs, but without him converting us into a cyborg, we can't install those CBMs, right? Like, you have to do a baseline quest with him where you, you retrieve anesthetic and then he turns you into a cyborg. Then you get the CBMs and can install them afterwards. Lorica Segmentata. Uh-huh. Ancient Roman lam laminar armor made of overlapping metal strips collected 
Okay, I mean, some of this seems cool. Like, the gambesons are still pretty great, right? In terms of, like, blunt protection and stuff. Covers the legs, the arms, the torso. Only 72% on the legs, but we could ditch our carpet armor. Encumbrance is pretty terrible. Uh, and obviously, it wouldn't really go with the Kevlar vest. They kind of have similar fitting or whatever. He has two regular cardboard boxes, but I believe we need eight of those to get that crafting recipe. That's why we were going to take the large ones. More welding tanks. Always good to have a welding tank. But let's take a look at these rifles specifically. They have three PAMD-68 rifles. So we would only be able to get ammo from them, right? We wouldn't be able to find this ammo out in the world. The most popular gun to use the 12.3 LN cartridge was, of course, the PAMD-71. Of course it is. I Everyone knows that. Too heavy to be used as a good infantry weapon. Not really heavy enough to make a good support gun. Enough were made, though, that during the zombie apocalypse, it gained a great deal of resurgent popularity as a light emplacement gun that used readily available ammunition. Perfectly served the purposes of the Exodii, who had uh, far less concern about its unwieldiness. So is this like, um, this must be like a huge weapon, right? Like they added like hand cannons, right? Is This must be, like there was a PR about like how the Exodii converted swivel guns into being used as rifles. So is this like a weapon that's supposed to be mounted, but you are carrying it instead? It's 20 pounds. I don't know. I don't know that we could actually use this very easily. We're not, obviously we don't want to carry 20 pounds of gun with us every time we go on an expedition. I, th I think maybe we're just going to leave that. I don't see ammo for it either, just the magazines, which makes it sort of pointless. Oh, no, they're right here. Okay. 20 round boxes of ammo. Well, really regard, well, a door, what is a dory? Well-made spear with a bronze head, Greek in origin, by its large size, frequently used one-handed. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, a Greek weapon. Sidearm to the Dory Spear, 19 damage. It's only 2.5 against armored creatures. I mean, neither of these are as good as our baseball bat at all, like at all close, but this one looks like a reach weapon. Yeah, so this is a spear that can be used as a reach weapon. We would love to buy that and take it with us. I don't know if it would fit in our backpack or not. I think the hiking backpack has a loop for storing those things, but I'm not sure. And then I would love to buy the CBMs. I just don't think we can use them. All right, so before we start trading, let's talk to Rubik and see what we're doing here. Are you some kind of robot? So you're a cyborg. How do I become a cyborg? Usl, put that into the key and lock if in your ken. Mayhaps you bring us a mite and trade and we'll see if we can fix you good soon and soon. Let no Exodii turn away Will and Benny. And so I just hate, okay. So I've got some stuff I could trade. So we have to trade with them first. We only have 45 minutes left. I'm gonna assume turning someone into a cyborg would take more than 45 minutes, but unfortunately Rubik does not buy weasel corpses. I feel who would have ever conceived that. Okay, so after unloading some of the random crap that we don't really want or things that we picked up that we you know got specifically for trading you know what you're gonna have the peanut butter as well we have about 120 dollars to trade with rubik here um i don't know that we really want anything in particular i would like to just do the trade to get that rep to see what we can see about you know becoming a, a cyborg and whatever unfortunately i don't think they have a currency right so we can't just trade for like i think the hub you can trade for hub coins if you have like too much you can just buy hub coins and that's it cataphract leggings what the heck burnished bronze leggings i mean obviously would be significantly better than the carpet armor we have seven encumbrance that's not terrible ancient design it's in mint condition aside from battle damage it covers the upper thigh to the lower shin and is of extremely high quality i mean that does sound awesome it's really good protection default 95 coverage as well looks like that's pretty amazing. Only seven encumbrance. Covers the legs, the lower legs, the knees, the thighs. I don't know. Maybe I still struggle to read the armor stuff. 45 bucks. I mean, like, I, so anyway, the point is, I don't think we can trade directly for currency. So we don't want to leave 120 bucks on the table, right? And just walk away. Like I said, I'm not crazy about the 
weapons because they seem pretty heavy, like things I'm not actually going to want to carry with me. Uh, and I think the ammo is only really usable on those particular weapons, so even taking the ammo here isn't really worth it in my opinion. I think we'll buy some CBMs just on the off chance. Like, the thing with the CBMs is that we need Rubik in order to get these CBMs, but we have no idea if we would ever be able to come back to Rubik. All these freaking dogs again. And the only way we could get uh, CBMs outside of Rubik is to find an auto dock and craft the auto dock item from Sky Island, which I have no idea how you even find an auto dock anymore. So the CBMs seem like they're super far down the road that we're probably never going to get around to. So I don't even know that I want to buy the CBMs. I just, I don't know. It seems unlikely that we're gonna use them let's take the spear i don't know if we can even carry that with us and we'll take the leggings we have 21 bucks left i don't even know if this is a good call i don't think we have a welding item we could take the welding mask as well and i guess we'll take the cardboard boxes since we know we need some for crafting and then rubik's battle rifle obviously we can't have that and some super glue because why not take super glue when well, these dogs are losing their little minds out there so i guess that's what we'll do accept this trade sure drop the bat drop the dory drop the cardboard box okay maybe we can't fit the cardboard boxes maybe they're still too big anyway so you're some kind of robot well can i be a robot you still don't trust me you said i had to trade i traded you like 110 bucks of stuff what do you what do you mean you don't trust me well we're wielding the cardboard box but i don't want to do that does not fit in any pocket okay super glue wear that bag again so the cardboard box is 50 liters. I thought it was smaller than the large cardboard box. I'm confused. I thought these were much smaller boxes. But by the way, it only cost us zero for the boxes, by the way. It didn't cost us anything. So we need two large ones or four of the these 50 we need 200 liters of cardboard boxes for this why do i even need a cardboard box to build a bigger room that doesn't make sense okay well whatever i mean a lot of these don't make sense i shouldn't complain like that obviously like why do we need board games well it's it, it's just the way it is right there's nothing to complain about all right so the cardboard boxes are out barbed wire bat does not apparently fit in our backpack we would have to lighten our stuff let's drop like all of the clothing for example and drop anything like yeah the food that's uh taking up a lot of space not not the medicine that's my bad drop all the food and then we will pick up the bat really you still don't fit okay this is taking a lot of time every time we drop something it takes a, a fair bit of time now we know it fits in the hiking backpack though we've we've done this before let's take off our carpet armor well how much yeah, these have five encumbrance. The others are only seven, but they're much better. So let's take off the carpet. Plus, we can make the leg guards anytime we want. Wear the cataphract leggings. Here we can see them side by side. You'll see it's only two more points of average encumbrance. Better average coverage, although it's quite low because I think the one part of our legs is, is very low. Much more warm and like more than double of all the protection value. So obviously these leg, leg guards are much better. You put on your cataphract leggings. Okay, those were not in any way hindering our ability to wield these items. So I'm not sure why we can't store our baseball bat when I know we've done that before. So I'm going to drop everything, which is going to take absolutely forever to drop all of these things and then we will pick up the bat see now the bat fits so obviously it was just like maybe the big pocket was filled then we will wield oh but we can't because if we take back the cardboard box we can't wield this other weapon anyway uh, i would rather have a backup weapon than our than our first set of cardboard boxes to be honest i guess which uh the like i said the average damage is is lower than our like the DPS listed here is lower than our baseball bat. It is 39 pierce, which is very good. It seems like a pretty good weapon considering it's a reach weapon. I would still guess it's probably considered a downgrade from our baseball bat. Uh, at least it was previously when this was in full condition. The DPS is just much better because of the plus three to hit, I think. What are the base moves to attack with the Dory? I didn't even look at that. It is slightly slower to attack, which is also maybe a problem, but because it's a reach weapon, we can kite more effectively. Yeah, I guess it's just that plus three to hit 
is lower, so we hit less frequently, which lowers our overall DPS, because obviously the damage itself is actually better. Anyway, uh, we would rather have that than a cardboard box, right, is the point here. And then we just want to pick up as much as we can from the pile that we just had and have a look at what gets left behind. Nothing got left behind, so that tells me that the bat was storable the whole time, it just, the pocket was a little too full to accommodate it. Like, cause it's one big pocket in the middle that can fit the bat, but it's multiple other pockets that can fit other items. But if all the other, you know, items that could fit in the smaller pockets end up in the big pocket, then the big pocket can't store baseball bat. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, this took uh, kind of forever. I think we're gonna call the episode here. Didn't, didn't really do much of anything. Now we do have that tractor. So we can drive back to where we were previously. Obviously, we're not a cyborg. Obviously, buying CBMs is a bit out of scope, I think, at this point. Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything with that. And we did have to wait around for those acid pools to clear. Now, if we have time, we only have uh, 45 minutes left. If we have time, we will head over here to do this mission. And then we will extract. But I think because we're so full up on stuff, and because we have the Dory now and good armor, maybe we should just head back to our base uh back to sky island instead of um, if we can do the mission we will because it'll give us warp shards which don't take a lot of space and it should be fine but our torso is around half hp uh we got better leg protection but not really torso protection i don't know we'll figure that out in the next episode so for now everyone thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video i should be back in the near future with more content and i'll see you next time